Now that the base is done, we're gonna get to painting Batgirl. I started on one hand, and what I'm gonna do is like I seen in the cartoon pictures, like we see here. I'm just gonna go with the yellow and the harsh black, the stark black, or whatever way you wanna say it. But I'm gonna go like that, like we see in the cartoons. There's really not much shading or highlights or anything like that from the pictures I'm seeing. So I'm gonna try to mimic those as best I can. And we're gonna try to make her look cartoony. This is my first attempt at it. So hopefully it comes out well. If not, it'll be a learning experience and we'll try again. So I'm gonna do some more pieces up like this and I'll show you how they look. So we're gonna do the same thing with this glove. We're just gonna use a small brush, use flat black from scale 70 and go in between the fingers and around the cuff and stuff like that. And once it's done and good and dry, then we'll use a satin on all the yellow parts that we're painting up and the rope's gonna be brown. So let me get to that. So I've done a bunch of parts and I'm trying to go for the cartoon look how they have it on the picture, like I said, we, we saw before where they just have the black really heavily outlined. So the pouches came out okay for my first attempt. They're not good, they're not bad, they're somewhere in between, so I'm just gonna leave them. One thing I did find out is the gloss and the semi-gloss and the matte, all of those from Ammo by MIG, they're acrylic based. They do not spray over the Mr. Super Clear, all they do is beat up. So unfortunately, I don't have a satin, so I'm going with my Mr. Super Clear semi-gloss on all of the yellow parts. Here's just a couple more pieces with the black outlining. I was gonna do them on camera, but between the black and the yellow, I'm having such a hard time working with it, especially on the gloves. Um, I've done things a few times, so got a little frustrating. So I'm just gonna show you the finished product on most of this stuff and we'll do some painting on the suit of Batgirl a little later. And here's one of her boots done up. I do like the lacing. If you do print this out, as you get towards the top on this side, the lace coming back over is missing, so you kinda gotta judge and just put your own little line in there. So I got one boot done, I gotta do another. Okay, we got the tedious aspect of getting all those laces done. Both pair, or both pair, both boots are clear coated, and we're gonna be working our way up from the bottom to the top. So we have the base done, we got our boots done. I'll show you what's up next. Okay, working our way from the bottom to the top. Next up, we're gonna work on her legs. I have the yellow on here. Probably just gonna use Silly Putty to cover that up. And if you can see, there's a line, a de demarcation line down here. And down here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this off. And I'm gonna use violet because the pictures kind of look more violet. So the inside of her legs will be violet. The outside of her legs will look black or be black. That's kind of what it looks like on the cartoon that I'm looking at. So hopefully it looks good. What we're gonna do on the outside too is we're gonna use that ultra matte from ammo by MIG, and on the inside, we're just gonna use a regular flat on the inside. The first thing I have masked off is that line going down the front and down the back. I'm gonna add in masking tape over here, either frog tape or other Tamiya tape, so this doesn't get any of the violet on it, and then this will be black. This inside here is gonna be the violet, and on the outside here will be black, so we're gonna tape that up. If you don't have this stuff, this is the flexible Tamiya masking tape. It comes in a few different widths. That, you can see I can easily make the curves in one pass going around her knee, the little wobble over here, and also the curved lines over here. It makes it nice and easy to do the masking on this. So I'll put links in the description below to where you can get this kind of tape. Okay, I have a bunch of different masking tapes on here. I'm sure the legs will be fine. The problem I'm gonna have is I'm definitely gonna have bleed through over here on the buckle on that belt. So hopefully not too much. So let me get spraying the violet on here. And the violet we're gonna be using on here today is the Scale 75 Violet SC56.
Our violet is on and our flat coat by Ammo by Mig is on here, which darkens up that violet a little bit, which is nice. And of course, I have a little piece of dust in there and that always happens in this garage. But the exciting part now is to pull this off and see our demarcation lines and then let it dry just a little bit more. And then we're gonna tape up the violet and do the black. And there we have it, nice clean lines because of that tape from Tamiya, the flexible tape. You can see the nice curves on there. Nice clean lines on the back too. I knew I was gonna have bleed. I was hoping there'd be bleed going onto the part we haven't painted yet, but I got a little bleed on the yellow here. So hopefully that is easy to fix up. Um, that's gonna maybe a little bit of a pain in the butt. Actually a little bit of bleed over here too. So we'll fix that up. We may end up just taping around here once it's done and redoing the yellow. But now time to tape up the violet and then we'll get onto the black. Round two of masking is done. Next up is going to be the black. I'm actually gonna be using Ammo by MIG flat black. The only reason I'm doing that is because I'm a little lazy and I don't feel like thinning down the scale 75. I can just drop this in the pot and go right to spraying and get this done a little quicker. So we have our flat black on here, looking pretty good. Now we're gonna let this dry for about an hour or two, and then we're gonna hit it. I'm going to go with the satin and make this a little different than the inside of the legs. The black is dried up. We put on the satin by Ammo by MIG, the Lucky Satin, which is looking pretty nice. So hopefully it keeps that mid shine that it has, not a glossy shine, but a nice, a nice finish to it. So this is gonna sit on the side for a couple hours, then we'll peel this tape off. Batgirl's legs are all taped up again. We use the white bendable masking tape from Tamiya, some frog tape just to make sure. And in the crotch area where it's very hard to mask off, I use the Ammo by MIG liquid mask over here. So now I just gotta wait 20 minutes for that to dry and then we could get to fixing up this yellow part. Okay, our yellow is back in place. There was a gouge over here. I don't know how that happened. So I'm just gonna say that she jumped a fence or jumping roof to roof and clipped her little band over here. So this is all done. The next thing I'm gonna do while we're still taped up, I'm gonna hit it with a uh, satin. And then once that's dry, I guess we're gonna do a little wash inside the buckle here just to bring that out. I have the satin on here, so now's the moment of truth, taking the tape off and seeing if I messed up the violet with the yellow. And of course I did how I got yellow down here. I have no idea, so now I gotta fix that up. And I got a spot of yellow in there too, so I gotta fix that up. Ah, the never ending touch ups. And we got some, of course we got some bleed. We got some bleed there. So I'll take care of that with a brush. And where's the other thing? Okay, overall not too bad. A couple spots that I gotta touch up, I'm gonna touch that up with the brush. And this I'm gonna have to touch up with the airbrush. It looks like I might have to do a little black there too. And we'll get this all straightened out. Okay, so I just used a little water. I forgot I clear coated it and I got that yellow off over here, so that was no big deal. This has been drying for about four weeks, I think, the last time I made a video on this. And I used the Ammo by MIG Clears, so in four weeks, this clear should have been solid as a rock by now. I used a little water and look, it peeled it up. So the Ammo by MIG clear is no way a good clear to use in between where you're gonna use just simple water to take off any excess paint or anything like that. It's gonna get ruined. So now I gotta try to fix this up in the meantime. So I'm back to Mr. Super Clear for my clears. 
Okay, we're all fixed up and ready to go. Let's get some boots on her legs. Well, here's a top view, but finally we have some pieces put together. We have her legs, we see eight on her boots, which look nice. I still have to just do the little wash in here and she'll be on the base like this. That's how our legs are gonna be on the base and then we'll have the rope and everything like that. So in the next video, we'll start taking care of the upper half of her body and hopefully get her done soon. Well, that's it for this video on Batgirl's legs. We're making some progress. Like I said, the next video, we're gonna work on the top half of her, use the Ammo by MIG liquid mask, which that actually works very well. The clears, don't use them for seal coats. Use a lacquer or something like that because water is just taking these off. Definitely can use them as a finishing coat. Um, and that's all I'm gonna be using the mask. Going back to Mr. Surfacer for the other stuff. So, if you like this content, please consider subscribing. And if you don't like to subscribe to channels, but you did like the video, please throw a thumbs up on it. It helps it spread across YouTube. The algorithm tells other modelers, hey, come check this out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on this. So I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, by the way, thank you to all these guys right here that are members of the channel. Really appreciate what you do for the channel and also all of our websites. So we'll see you all soon. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves out there. Be good, take care. And bye-bye, everybody.